very random ones banned last week. Um, but that is more kind of in line of what I thought was going to get banned at some point or another. So we're going to go into it, we're going to see what is going on, we're going to see how the teams are stacking up. Um, Again, okay, I will check. I'm, I haven't moved it, so I will check the time in the game is not covered by the uh, the banner again this week. So uh, that was a bit of a balls up as well. <laughs> so what we got? What we got? We got so no artillery can be used either. Um, ooh, all doctrines, runes, and everything are available. Though everything you have on your account is available, you just cannot use artillery. That is banned. As soon as you use artillery, you are banned or you are disqualified for the round. So you definitely don't want to be doing that. So lots of reapers, a few tertiers, a few shenjis, a few purple units for the clown side, slav side, a couple, a uh, couple sifo. A lot of range. Wow, three sifo. A lot of range. Not a lot of melee for a defender which they've got a few falcos in there um, but they have a stack of ranged in there i'm not sure how well that's going to uh how well that's going to go to be honest So, I'm going to get straight into it. So, I have played alongside Temple, Winkrow, Amia, all those kinds of people. They're uh, very well known kind of guys from the official tournaments. I think this is going to be a very top matchup. I'm going to enjoy this greatly. Let us see if. Let's see, where the hell is my mouse? That's not great. There it is. And let's see if. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm on about, lads. That's what I'm on about. So that's what the problem was last week. Here's my freaking overview button wasn't freaking working. So now it's working. We can have a proper good look around the map. So we've got a couple coming up on the right. We've got ladders going up. A few kind of sitting at the back here, which is a little bit weird. But they are not going to be giving over a, it looks like, for free. So they are going to be defending that at least for a bit. They've got people up on the walls. Slavs and clowns, exactly the same unit count. So 1123 to 1125. So no significant kind of difference in terms of units at the start. Sometimes teams do come in with a lot less. Sometimes teams come in with a lot more. But it looks like they are really making sure they are defending the walls as best as they can here. Boom. First kill goes to Clowns. Is that going to help them? They are starting to get a foothold on the walls here. If they were clever, and it looks like Amu is already going for it, I was going to say they're going to start taking this supply point, start getting troops inside of the city. I think they are going to be dropping A though. Look, they're already giving A, they're already giving B. That is. I personally would try and fight for that for a little bit um, on this map. But. I can understand why they're not going to. They don't want to be wasting any units or anything at A and B. They want to just kind of give that over, give those supply points over. Let's see. Let them take C as well. It's just it is such a long hold on that final point. Then this does make sense. Well, they've brought in a lot of range as the Slavs though. So the red team, they have a lot of Shenjis. They have a lot of Tercios as well. And I can totally understand it if their game plan is to defend that last point then it makes a lot, lot of sense because obviously trying to breach into the walls or even breaching over the ladder here is going to be difficult and ranged is really going to be able to stop them getting any kind of kind of foothold into this kind of point. Um, the Slavs team lack of melee may hurt them a little bit though. They have got a lot of range. They don't really have much melee though to kind of stop any big kind of reaper pushes or anything like that. Keshigs they haven't got to worry about because they are a banned unit. Um, but I do I do think that their lack of melee may help or may hurt them a little bit here. They do have a fair few Falconettis, which is obviously gonna help a certain amount, but 
other than a couple of palace guards, they ain't got no shields really either, which again is going to hurt them. They do have a lot of flamers, they have a lot of flamer units, so that's really going to hurt the clown team when they try and breach in. But 16 minutes, 16 minutes they have to hold this, and that is a very, very a long time. Thank you for the uh, follow, Cornelia. Very, very kind of you. They are holding that wall, look. No tropes have been used yet, so obviously it's, it's not the most tropable map. Um, but clowns who have 15 trebs worth 15, 15 trebs worth a trip, 15 uses worth a trip as well to obviously kind of butter up the defending team. Um, I think clowns are just kind of looking here what is going to be the best kind of avenue to attack. But clowns, there's a lot of guys in here from Origin and from other houses kind of similar to that. So they have a lot of official tournament experience. They have a lot of experience in working together. I can see them split attack in here because that's what they have done in the past in official tournaments. I don't recognize all the names in the team but I do recognize a lot of them and the ones that I do recognize even though it pains me to say it even Temple Fart they are pretty damn good players they know how to play together they're a very disciplined kind of team as well they're not going to go off Rambo style like you do see some people in some teams go they are a very well organized well disciplined team Slavs are going to have a very difficult time to kind of counteract all this but you can see five guys are going up on the wall you've got a couple split going around that side as well they are trying to bait people out of this front door here um, there, oh that guy there, who's that Java Mole has just been caught out massively and left by himself. That was a bit of a cock up by the guys that were meant to be climbing up with him. However, they have got a bit of a foothold over here. Are they going to make that work for them? They've got a dual blade, a cheeky dual blade there, and skiz right around the back as well. If you can take that supply point, that's going to work defenders massively. So the main push is going in through the front door now, though. So they are really kind of hammering this. Now, if they can get a few more people down here, ah, that is a cheeky play. So they're not going for the point. They are running around the back. I can see what they're going to do. They're going to try and block off that spawn point and make sure no one can get out of there. They're going to clear everything up, take the supply point, block off that spawn, and then run right down this avenue here and just secure the point. That is a very clever play as long as they keep track of who is behind them because if these guys get wind of it which I think they are starting to they could actually start trying to put a bit of pressure on their back line and actually make it very difficult for the clowns to actually block off the supply if they manage to clear up everything behind them so these front players as they're pushing forward to try and block off the spawn if everybody behind them can actually clear everything up this plan will work very very well but there's still a few stragglers there um, we've got a bit of cav in, but it looks like Slavs are still actually managing to get out of the spawn. Um, I would literally be yelling at five people to just block off that point right there, right now. Block it off, make sure nobody else can get out. There's all 15 clowns are alive, there's only nine Slavs alive currently, so that is quite a big detriment for the Slavs, but it looks like they are finally starting to put a bit of pressure on that spawn point there. There's a few people starting to head down towards the actual capture point now as well. So the Slavs have actually been attacked on three different sides, so that is a massive push from the Clowns and a very difficult one to actually kind of pull off because it's so easy to kind of fall out of sync with each other, especially when you can't see each other or you're not in each other's line of view. It's very easy to fall out of sight of each other and see what everybody is doing, but they are taking the spawn point. There is one guy valiantly try to stop it. I don't think Slavs have any chance at this point now, though. There's seven heroes alive compared to clans, still 15. That is huge. Um, Slavs are managing to break through off that spawn point. They're trying to put a bit of pressure on the home base here, but... 12 minutes of them trying to hold this against clowns I don't think it's gonna work out for them personally it is a very tidy play 
a very tidy play there by the clowns really really good tidy play the front players pushed up and they trusted the guys behind them to actually clear everything up and sort out everything behind them they have absolutely smashed that attack well disciplined well organized well maintained throughout the push as well and only two only two players out of the whole clown team died that game. Javamol, who got left by himself up on the wall. That was a bit of a cock up by the other two that were meant to go up with him. And Birmingham, I didn't actually see when he died, but two deaths. Two deaths in comparison to everybody on the Slav team died at least once. Most people died twice. That is a huge difference. Going over to the post-battle analysis, not really anything happened until right at the end. Um, I think the call to drop A and B was a bit too early from Slavs. Personally, I wouldn't have dropped it so early. I would have just held on to it for at least five minutes. So it brings the timer down a little bit. It is a very difficult one to hold, especially with the amount of range they had and the lack of melee they had. It was a very difficult one to hold.